Well, it's time for the safety blitz to get a whole lot smarter now as we welcome Karen Garigian from the Boston Herald. Of course, Rodney Harrison, two-time Super Bowl champ. I'm Jack Collinsworth. So a Buffalo loss and a heartbreaking loss for the Bills. A New England win in prime time. What is the state of the AFC East right now in your mind's eye, Karen? Well, uh, Buffalo's going to have a tough time. Maybe it's a good thing they have a bye week uh, to come back from such a devastating loss. Either that or, you know, that might play in their heads a little bit going forward. I actually think the Dolphins are the bigger uh, challenge to the Bills in the immediate future. And the Patriots, stay tuned. Uh, it definitely helped them to beat uh, the Ravens. And right now they're establishing a little bit of momentum, a little bit of confidence. So we'll see. Uh, it's it's not impossible. I think their better avenue getting in uh, might be a wild card. Karen, yesterday I thought Coach Bill did his best coaching job of, of the season. The team looked prepared, and they really looked ready to go. What did you see from them? Well, I it, it's funny. Cam Newton, after the game, called him the football whisperer. And, and maybe you can relate to that, Rodney, because whatever Bill is talking about during the week, whatever he's preaching, even if it sounds ridiculous to the players, uh, tends to come true during game time. And, you know, players, you know, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Well, everything Belichick tends to say happens, even to the point where he's able to dial up a tsunami. Cam Newton, when you look at his numbers, his numbers weren't great, but what is it about Cam that has made him so attractive in that locker room? So many people like him. Why does Coach Belichick just really just fawn over Cam Newton like he does? Well, I mean, he is a former NFL MVP, but he he really, Cam really engages his teammates, whether it's calling him a nickname or doing a secret handshake with them. I mean, he's really an engaging, charismatic type of person, uh, even to the point of how he dresses, obviously. But I think the players, like, he's really relatable to them. And it's almost like they're all in this together. And he doesn't present himself above anybody. He's one of them. And he's, you know, I think the players get a lot of encouragement from him. And you see a player like Jacoby Myers really flourish and blossom uh, with Cam. Yeah, Jacoby certainly has. And I want to play you this sound right now, Karen. I, want, I really want to ask you about the New England passing game and how much of it you think they're going to need down the stretch to maybe make some kind of a deep playoff push here. But let's hear right now from Cam Newton on the Jacoby Myers touchdown uh, as you guys are talking about it. X, Y, Z. And Jacoby looked and he was like, huh? I said, yeah, we got, you know, the play was called. And then he looks down and he was like, damn, I got to, hold on. So everybody looking at him, look at his gloves. He's like, bro, I got to take off one of my gloves. So he took off one of his gloves. So he was like, you want my warm pouch so you can keep your hands dry? He's like, no, no, no. Hey, but hold my second glove too. It was it was just like a, we had a moment as an offense in that huddle because we was coming off a TV timeout and Jacoby was like, I'm like, bro, relax. And if you don't got nobody, just throw it to your check down, which is me, and I'm gonna make something out of it. So when the play was called, <laughs> when the play was was snapped, somebody went straight to me. So I was like, dang, Jacoby, you ain't got nobody, so just throw it. And Cam Newton really is a great storyteller. I, I always thought he never gets enough credit for his ability to tell stories. He's a great personality, really, to listen to. Uh, so you heard him talking right there. Sometimes you got to take off the glove. It's a little concerning, though, when your biggest play in the passing game comes from a wide receiver throwing the football. Did they have enough in the tank? This is a pure passing attack to make a deep playoff push, do you think, Karen? I don't think that that... I, don't, I really don't think that's their identity. Uh, I think... You saw it in that game. It's smash mouth, bully ball, football. Their best asset in the, on the offense is their offensive line and their fleet of running right. backs. So that's where they're they're going to start from that point. And if they can, if they're effective playing that smash mouth style, that will open up enough avenues 
uh, for Cam Newton to throw the ball to, let's face it, a group of receivers that aren't anywhere close to the top five that you just mentioned a little while ago. Karen, it seemed like they played a lot more zone yesterday trying to keep Lamar in front of them. What is their biggest weakness when you look on the defensive side of the ball? We know about their, their cornerbacks and their ability to play one-on-one, -on -one, but when you look in totality of their defense, what is their biggest weakness? They don't have speed, and they don't have playmakers. I mean, it's, it's, it's in their front seven, and I think they, they didn't allow uh, the Ravens to spread the ball out they, they tried to make uh, Lamar play in a, like a phone booth and they tried to compress the field for him uh, and it and it got the job done enough. Um, they weren't, they didn't want him to make any big, big plays like they did, he did on them last year, particularly with his legs. I think his longest run was maybe 11 yards or something like that. But in front of him, they compressed the field and uh, again, the Patriots don't have speed. If it's a track meet, they're going to lose. So that's where uh, Bill Belichick's brain comes in, and that's where his scheming and plotting also comes into play. And, and if the players execute and do what they're told, they'll have a chance. Yeah, Karen, that's great stuff. And it's tsunami, no tsunami, figuring out a way to get a win. Sunday night football, a win is a win. We really appreciate you taking some time. Look forward to the next one. Thanks, Anytime. Karen G. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.